Watson Aspa with the Investing News Network. Joining me today at the Cantech Investment Conference in Toronto is Anthony Diorio, CEO and founder of Decentral and Jax, and co-founder of Ethereum. Thanks for joining me today, Anthony. Thanks for having me. Uh, so we all know that Bitcoin dominated headlines in 2017, uh, but 2018 is shaping up to be the year of Ethereum as a, as a digital currency and as an innovator in technology. So what will make Ethereum stand out in 2018? Mm, I haven't heard too much about it being the year of Ethereum. That, that would be a fantastic thing. <laughs> I think Ethereum is competing with a number of other different projects and, and you know thousands of them out there and they all offer different value, different things. So I'm not sure if it will be the year of Ethereum. I think that would, that would be great, but I'm not sure what might be sh uh, causing it to shape up as having that be something that's going to break through as opposed to some other things. So I'm not really sure. Uh, I focus on the entire ecosystem. So founding Ethereum, yes, but also I support with my wallet many, many, many dozens of other different currencies, different projects, so there's lots of great stuff coming up, and uh, uh, maybe it is the year that, that uh, Ethereum takes over Bitcoin's market cap, but uh, but who knows, but that would be exciting. Uh, so this year, the Canadian government announced that it will begin exploring the use of Ethereum blockchain, but other governments, like the ones in South Korea and China, are being more strict about regulations. Uh, so will we see more governments begin to adapt these kinds of technologies, or are we still a few years away from that? I, I think the ones that understand the potential technologies, I'm sorry, the potential benefits of these technologies, the 99.9% .9 of the great things that are going to come out just like we had with the internet, uh, and ways that they can figure out how they're going to enable new sector growth and be able to capitalize on a you know very expensive global, global economy that they can take charge and hopefully entice entrepreneurs, entice people to come here by the way they're understanding the value and benefits that will come out of it. So I think there will be regulations coming, but it will be the countries and the, and the ones that actually understand that the value will come out, and if they put it to a bunch of a heavy hand on it, that people will go elsewhere and they definitely don't want that so it's a balance that governments have to kind of work with and I think it's all about the education and being sure that they see what value will come out and how it's going to help and improve the lives of Canadians. Right of course. Uh, so as the co-founder of Decentral and Jax, uh, Jax is a blockchain wallet that holds cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum to name a few, uh, while Decentral is the maker of Jax cryptocurrency wallet. So what will Jax bring to the table this year to exceed its uh, number of users? Yeah so I, I'm a founder of, of uh, Jax and Decentral, not co-founder, there's, oh, there's right. only been on that. Co -founder of Ethereum. Um, so what we're doing, we are building the interface for the masses to be able to use and, and understand the technology. The wallet is very similar to what the browser is for the internet. This is the technology that's needed for digital assets movement and management, and that's what we're building is the interface for all these different technologies to be able to have a place that my dad or the everyday person is going to be able to understand what to do with these technologies. And that's what's kind of missing in the space is the, the interfaces and the ways that people can connect to these technologies and the way that people can get that aha moment to, oh, this is how I use it and this is why I'm understanding it. this is what people are talking about. So our goal is always to be to build the interface for this new age of value. Uh, Google moves information. They have the browser that moves information. They do the search engine for information. But well, we deal and we enable people to move value. And that's the age of what's coming up. And we want to be that, that one interface that connects all the projects, all the different cryptocurrencies in one single place that people can utilize and don't have to go many different places. And that's what we plan to do with Jax. And that's what we are doing. Awesome. So earlier this year, it was announced that you had joined Mogo Finance Technology as a special advisor. Can you speak about how this partnership came about and what attracted you to this company? Yeah, uh, my friend Weck uh, was uh, trying to get me on board for quite a while. Okay. Weck believe uh, trying to get him get me into the. They saw some synergies with Jax and with the services that they offer. I mean, their whole play is to be the the, the new banking thing for for the millennials, and great interface, great experience for the users. And there's they then want to get in the cryptocurrency space, enable people to be able to purchase and be able to have different. Uh, value adds in the crypto space. So it's a great fit between Jax and what they're doing uh, to try to create a new age of, uh, of, of new value in the banking sector. So it's a great synergy between our two companies. Uh, happy to be them advising and see what we can actually integrate cryptocurrency services inside of Mogo. Awesome. Are there any more catalysts you have on the horizon this year? Any more what? Catalysts or, or things investors should know about uh, that are happening this year? Investors? Uh, not really. I don't have investors. I don't take people's money. So I'm self-funded, self-owned. I own 100% of the company. So for investors, not really, but for the general public, we're, we're, we're a product for the consumers. We did 250,000 new users last month. We've got qu three quarters of a million users right now. Uh, and we want to build the tools that the everyday person can, can utilize these technologies. So I think uh, people want to give Jax a try, see how it works, see how you can be in control of your life because we don't hold on to keys. We don't have access to customer funds. We ever take holding of that customer funds. We think there's going to be a shift towards people being in control of every area of their lives. And we want to play, create the tools that empower people to be in control of their lives. Right, perfect. Awesome. Thanks. Those are all Thanks my questions for, today. Thanks for having me. Great. Okay. I'm Dawson Aspen with the Investing News Network.